What is going on guys, this video today is going to be discussing some Wrestlemania 35 possible main event action or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I don't know when the rumor started, but of course The Rock, you know, it's been rumored for probably that, that, The Rock being at Wrestlemania next year, that rumor in general has just been going on for a couple months now, which isn't a big deal at all, you know, if he wants to come back Wrestle match, cool, I'm all for that. But this um, specific match is what I wanted to talk about because apparently, not I don't want to say apparently because it's obviously not official, but rumors may have it that The Rock may just possibly be entering the Royal Rumble in January, winning the whole damn thing, and challenging Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 35, of course in the main event next year. And I gotta, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of The Rock coming back and after not wrestling a match since Wrestlemania 29 losing to John Cena and now he's going to come back in the same stadium and face the next John Cena I don't know it's just like do we really need to have this do we is it honestly necessary just because all oh, they're both their cousins let's have them fight in the main event for the title and what's the let, let's get it out the way first what's the point of this What's the point of having Rock come back to face Roman? Is it so Roman gets another victory over a big-time legend? I don't really think that's going to do do wonders for him. Like, he's already beaten John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, Triple H. Like, he's ran through a good number of, you know, higher superstars. Running through The Rock isn't going to add him, you know, isn't going to bring him on another pedestal, at least in my opinion, or anything like that. And it's just like, on the flip side of things, when you have The Rock come back and win the Universal title after not wrestling five years and like I know his schedule is way too busy to you know be showing up as Universal Champion we just got done having a part-time Universal Champion hold hostage on that title I don't honestly don't want another one and it's just like you know this is like this is if this match were to take place maybe on like the Rumble in January like no problem there it's not it's honestly not it's Half I don't. It's half the reasons I already said as to why I'm not opposed. I I am opposed to the match, and it's half just because it's the main event of WrestleMania. They want to put Roman versus The Rock for the Universal Title at the uh, whatever the uh, baseball stadium is that they're doing the Rumble next year in Phoenix. If they want to do it there um, for the Universal Title at the Rumble. You know, go for it because it's the Royal Rumble. Half the rosters in the Rumble match anyway, and it can just be and it, yeah, Roman can be The Rock and it can be another. You know, big win for him, and he can move on into WrestleMania into something else. But so, like, if they did it there, I'm, I'd be fine with it because even though I don't really see the benefit of either guy winning, um, Roman can just win. They could have a big time match. We could see Rock wrestle again. That'd be cool. I'm sure the build would be entertaining because it's, you know the Rock would obviously make it entertaining. And you know, we can I'm sure it'd be a decent, decent to okay match. And it'd be it'll it'll only be the Rumble, so it'd just be the kickoff to the Mania season. But to wrap up WrestleMania next year in the main event with Roman's. What is this? What would it be? Fifth main event WrestleMania appearance in a row. Which, you know, isn't the biggest deal in the world. Not totally like, oh my god, he doesn't deserve five main events. But, yeah, I mean, hell, I don't think, I don't even think John Cena got five main events in a row. I mean, obviously they had plenty, but not in a row like this. That's besides the point. But it's just like, you got so many guys on the damn Raw roster you can put in the Rock's position. I mean, ideally, I think most people would probably not be opposed to seeing the Shield triple threat retake place just this time at WrestleMania this time for the Universal title obviously we got it at Battleground of all places of in 2016 and um with for the WWE title with Ambrose winning but obviously circumstances will be a lot different here I think all three guys have grown greatly and uh, to put it in the main event of WrestleMania in the stadium where they first had their first WrestleMania match all three guys in the main event that'd be an ideal fantastic WrestleMania match for all three guys who would deserve a big you know main event spot or Roman versus, I mean, it's happening right now, obviously, so realistically, like, storyline-wise, I wouldn't, wouldn't really make sense to see it happen at Mania again, but, like, even if Braun was in that spot, like, that's fine, or Finn in that spot as the Demon, you can get Demon Balor versus the Big Dog at Mania, that'd be fine, but there's plenty, what point I'm trying to make is, there's plenty of other people Roman should be, if you want to have him in the main event defending the Universal title at Mania, fine, but there's plenty of other people in that spot who WWE should be putting in there, who isn't just a part-time, we're bringing in this part-time attraction in The Rock just to sell some tickets and, you know, some network buys for WrestleMania because it really doesn't do any good, in my opinion. It doesn't bring Roman Reigns, it doesn't elevate him getting another win over a big name, and Rock winning the Universal title just decreases the value of the Universal title, in my opinion, because we already had Brock hold the title hostage for a year and a half, and we really don't need somebody else trying to do that again. Not that The Rock would do that. I mean, obviously, like, he won the WWE title, you know, in 2013, but he dropped it a couple months later, and he at least defended it, um, 
you know, once before he dropped the title, so that was nice. And he was pretty much on TV, you know, doing promos at least for most of the times. But, like, the point I'm trying to make is WWE shouldn't have to rely on The Rock. I just made a video talk about Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement. And, you know, WWE, not, WWE shouldn't have to rely on him versus The Undertaker to sell tickets in Saudi Arabia. But it's, And it's kind of the same situation here. They shouldn't have to rely on The Rock or Brock Lesnar or Taker or Shawn Michaels or John Cena or Triple H to bring in people to buy tickets when they have a roster full of great talent when they can just put effort into them instead of just bringing back the guys they already made they already made superstars to make these guys superstars and then you're good to go it's you know take the new and no, nothing wrong with the old just use the new to, use the old to put over the new you know that's why I said like you want to do Rock versus Roman at the Rumble that'd be great that'd be fine Roman can put over Rock or Rock can put over Roman excuse me no problem but WrestleMania main event, don't see the upside to that. I don't want to see The Rock versus Roman in the main event um, at Mania. But that's just me. So leave your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want to see The Rock versus Roman Reigns main event WrestleMania 35 in, at MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, and Jay next year for the Universal Title? Let me know in the comment section below. Those are my thoughts. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.